Hi and welcome to Retro Tech Guardian. Um, one of my newer purchases, um, a lovely Atatsi 3-in-1 TV radio cassette. Uh, it's model number CPT0652 from the early 80s. Um, again, I can't find out a huge amount of information about this. What's unusual for this type of unit is that this screen is actually a colour screen. Um, now I paid £15 for this plus postage. The unit itself isn't in the best condition. Um, there is some the silver's coming off the front there. And it does look like it's got a cigarette burn or something. Look right in the middle of the screen there. Um, so yeah, so uh, I bought this because I'm going to try something different. I'm going to bring this unit into the 21st century. I do want one of these, but in a much better condition. Uh, there is another one on eBay, which I'm looking at. But I bought this one knowing that it wasn't in great condition. It's missing an aerial here. Look, there's only one aerial. should be two. Um, so I'll be upgrading it and bringing it into the 21st century. Um, obviously, the first video will be cleaning and checking all the caps, make sure none of the caps are leaking. If there's any old caps in there that are likely to leak, uh, the old style, we'll take them out and we'll replace them. Uh, so we'll do a video doing that and then we'll do videos then each week on the different upgrades I'm going to add to this. So this, this particular unit will be like a six or seven part project uh, run over about six or seven weeks. So, uh, right, where we'll start? Well, we'll start with this thing that came with it. Now, when this came with it originally uh, when they sent it uh, it wasn't connected so I thought maybe this was a battery pack but no it's a power supply now it tells you on there look it's the model TP230 and it says the ACDC unit for the model CPT0652 and then Rather strangely, the output is 17 volts at 1.4 amp, which I'll show you why that's a bit unusual in a minute. Uh, and on this side, uh, you have your mains in and you also have 12 volt input in, which is weird because this gives out 17. So 17 or 12. So either it boosts the voltage up somehow inside here up to 17 volt that will be a separate video. We'll open this up. We'll have a look. On this edge here, it's got the little power connector, which corresponds to a little jack that's on the back of this. And that's how this unit gets the power through here. So we'll plug that in later. So now we'll have a quick look. Now, I won't be opening this up today because I'm doing so much with this one. Um, when we open it up, the cassette drive doesn't work. The seller did tell me the cassette drive didn't work. Um, you can hear the motor spinning, but uh, I assume it needs belts. It's been up in a loft for a few years, hence the dirt and grime and everything that's on it. It's obviously not the seller's fault. It's just, you know, when you store something for that long, it tends to get dirty. So on the front panel, you have the 5-inch colour screen, CRT screen, not an LCD. Uh, this is an old analogue telly, no free view channels for this. And on the front here, you've got these five buttons. Now, what's neat about this is this is like your old-fashioned TVs where you could change channel. You tune them in. You change channel for BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5. And then you have your radio frequency guide here so you can see where you're tuned in. Uh, and then, obviously, you have your tape drive and your counter here. Uh, and as you can see, just about there, made in Japan. And it says... Um, InstaVision, whatever that is, no idea. And on here you can say it's tri mode AC DC battery color television with FM medium wave, long wave radio, and a cassette recorder. So now we turn it around this way. Obviously, your carrying handle sorry, should have mentioned that carrying handle um, doubles up as your uh, little kickstand so you can angle it slightly up. Not much, but it does help. Now on the side here, you've got your tuning dial. Um, now this is uh, only for your FM radio. It doesn't do your TV. I'll show you that in a second. And on here, you've got a variety of little inputs. One saying mic, 
remote mix mic and then record PB and honestly don't know what that is. If anybody knows what that is, please get in touch. And then you've got monitor and then beat. Now the monitor, I assume, is just for audio. Um, I can't see it being video because there's no other video inputs to this. So it's not like you've got RCA ports that you can then feed it to a bigger TV and I don't understand why you'd plug an aerial into this and then watch TV on a bigger TV, you just plug the aerial into your TV, surely. <clears throat> so anyway, that's what they are. And then here, there's a little flap. You open that flap up and then you can see there's all your tuning for your TV. The five buttons on the front and there's five little tuners there. So it came with a little stick. And if you see the little stick's got two little um two little bits sticking up there. Well the grey section of this is where you can change your channel selector. So you can have channel two to four and then five to twelve and then twenty one to sixty eight. So <clears throat> the video was on channel thirty six, so it's turned to twelve to sorry, twenty one to sixty eight. So that little piece changes the grey side for what frequency you're going to scan on or where the channel selection is and then that end fine tunes it so you can tune it to where you want when you get it set that's number one set on that frequency the idea was then you know but um again it's an old rf one so you're not going to get much on it i connect an xbox up through a video i've got a video showing you how to do that on my channel if you want to have a look at it so Right, that's that side. Nearly dropped it, it is quite heavy. And then on this side, you have your aerial input. Then you have the little jack, which then would connect to your uh, rod antennas. And as I said before, look, one's broken, so just that left of it. So I will be buying new ones of these. I will be doing videos of us replacing the caps, like I say, and everything. So I'm not going to take this apart today. We will be taking it apart in a future video. And then you have this whacking great hole in the top. This is where this comes in. So you slide it up to it like that. You push it in. It is quite a tight fit. So we push it in nice and tight. And then you turn your little lock switches to lock it in place so it doesn't fall out. Trust me, it wouldn't fall out anyway. It's that tight a fit. On the bottom... No, let's spin this round for you. On the bottom, as you can see, Atachi Color TV Radio Cassette Recorder Model CPT0652. Now, here's the weird bit. As I was saying about the voltage of that power supply, it says 17 volts out. This is asking for 12 volts at 16 watts. So, why the 17 volts? Doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, we'll test all that when we come to testing the power supply. I won't be testing the power supply today. Uh, and then the final side. We have now your mains in and your 12 volt because the power supply is attached. Obviously that's designed to take a battery pack as well. Now I don't have the battery pack. Um, so if anybody's got a battery pack for this that they want to sell or anything, please get in touch. Um, I'm sure we can work something out. I'd love to get the battery pack for this. On this one, uh, you've got your vertical hold, brightness, contrast, and color adjustment. Notice on this one, there's no horizontal hold. Right. Uh, so that's the unit as it is. So what we'll do now is we'll plug some bits into it. So first thing first, we'll plug some power in. Well, turn it to tape on the top here. These buttons, sorry, I should have mentioned this, shouldn't I? Uh, that's your function switch. So you've got um, TV tape, which is the standby. Uh, only the tape that works, nothing else will work. And then it has radio, uh, FM, sorry. Uh, so you get your FM by turning your function dial to FM. But then it's also got radio next to that. Now that then lets you select here, medium wave or long wave. So... It doesn't just do radio and then give you a three selection switch here. You select FM and then radio, which is an unusual way of doing it, but it works. 
then you have your uh, tone control no bass and treble just tone and then your volume control so right we are feel for the aerial socket at the back of this where are we just here now i have had this on before and i have tuned number one to be um the my video uh output so instead of using the aerial which i normally use because this has an extension aerial input i've just plugged the aerial straight in so we'll turn it to tv and in a second you'll see the tv come on and there you go it's pre-tuned and it's showing the xbox live now if i can adjust that a bit so you can see it a bit easier there you go now you can't see it on that um oh that's better the colors are quite vibrant on it um it does look better in person though than through the camera um so that's the TV working, and if we turn the volume up, you can hear there's not a lot of background noise. There is a little bit, um, so we'll check some of the grounds and everything, see if we can reduce that down a bit. Um, it might just be that the function switch needs cleaning, or one of the other switches needs cleaning. Now, there's no sound through the telly, because I'm not playing anything because of infringement rights. I don't want one. Um, so you turn it to tape. Again, the tape won't work. If I press play, I don't think you'll hear the motor spinning. But you can certainly see nothing's moving here. You can stop it. You can rewind. You can fast forward. Nothing works. So I assume it's just belts. You can hear the motor spinning. So next function is FM radio. So we'll try tuning it in. And as you can see, there's a little green LED just popped up there. So... I thought it was tuned to something, but obviously it wasn't. I might need to plug the other aerial lead in. See if I can get a station without him to do that. There you go. So, and our stores are open Monday. So find your new dining table, a real wood sideboard, or that must have... So it's got a little little level meter there. Um, obviously, the louder you go, the more that turns up. So that's quite neat. Um, that's why I love these things. They're just tactile. They've got buttons you have to press and dials you have to turn instead of all this modern tech. You just swipe your hand and everything seems to work. I, I like to feel what I'm doing. And, and Anyway, so we'll turn this again now to radio and that radio selects is set to medium wave so we'll turn it up a little you can understand though why people are getting we'll see if we can get a decent channel tuned in we saw again for mellow you know two three years ago so you can hear the medium wave working and then we'll turn this again now to long wave now You'll get some interference because of what I'm running. But we'll see if we can get... There you go. So there's a little something there. So as you can see, it's all working apart from the cassette deck. Um, and uh, I really do love this unit. I do want one that's in better condition, though, that I want to keep standard. Um... But this one is going to have a lot of mods so please keep looking out for this one um like i say it's going to be over seven weeks uh, but we will be bringing this into the 21st century um because I, I really like this unit and my partner she's already told me that when i've done all the mods this is going to be her she's going to use it in the bedroom every day so right okay well that's it for now like i say um i couldn't find too much information out about this so if anybody knows of uh, any kind of user manuals or any service manuals download links for them uh, please get in touch um either leave a comment or uh, send me an email the email is in the links below i'd love to find uh, more information out about this thing because I really do like these, especially with the colour screen. I think it's really neat. So, anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you soon.